Arizona's school authority is tracking a potential leadership change at a Paradise Valley Unified School District. On Monday, the board has scheduled a special meeting to possibly discuss the superintendent's resignation. Arma Lockhart joins us live from the newsroom. Emma, how did this all start? Well, this comes on the heels of the district's decision to return to virtual learning. Many parents were upset over the move, some even protesting outside the board meeting. Now, weeks later, it appears the superintendent is calling it quits. Basing decisions on science rather than politics is the only way that we're going to get through this. Paradise Valley parent and teacher Francoise Michelle Ehrenfeld is standing behind her district. They are working so hard. They are doing the best job they possibly can. PV Unified School District switched to virtual learning last week due to rising COVID-19 cases. <laughs> prompting outrage from some parents who want their children in the classroom. Definitely the parents are not happy and we've been extremely, extremely vocal about it. More than two weeks after the governing board's decision, Superintendent Dr. Jesse Welsh could soon be gone. One of the action items on the board's Monday agenda is approval of resignation agreement and release for superintendent. They are in an impossible situation and they are never going to please everyone. It's still unclear why Welsh is potentially leaving. Erin Feld believes pushback from angry parents could be the reason. She says comments directed at Welsh and other board members have turned ugly. This is not the way we are as a society, and we're, that's not the way the PV community is. We're supposed to be a family. Today, one teacher started a petition in support of Welsh, racking up more than 2,170 signatures. Meantime, Lisa Farr is a PV parent who would be happy to see Welsh go. She says the superintendent isn't listening to parents' concerns. I guarantee he knows parents didn't want him there. And district officials confirm they will be discussing his potential resignation and assignment of an acting superintendent, but wouldn't comment further. We also reached out to Welsh directly, but did not hear back at this time. Live in the newsroom, Emma Lockhart, Arizona's Family.